guys, Son and Shine 7 here. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make this, um, like a, what, we, what we call Dumpsters of Doom. Uh, it's inside this little building here. So as you can see, there's three columns there. Um, over shield and um, custom. Now you're just going to pick it up. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make it. It's actually quite simple. Um, so I find it works best easy it e works best all right on um, foundry because that's the grid at the floor and everything and it has better walls so uh, you're gonna spawn a double wall right, I find it best to line it up with those two tracks right there spawn another one on the other side and now I have two and, and, um, I'm not trying to make this perfect or anything because you guys you guys know so um, so now spawn a barrel not the small barrel the regular size put it you know just in the front of it a little bit a little bit hanging out and now uh, go to equipment and spawn an active camo or custom power up the overshields don't work um, because it gives you health um, and then um, afterwards spawn a dumpster and I find it best if the, the top of the dumpster if you can't tell, that's the darker, the, the um, more rounded side. Put that right up against the active camo, and then move the walls a little closer to the dumpster. Not too much, though, because the dumpster will then hit the walls, and the trap will work. Um, yeah, I can't tell you how many times people have told me that this is retarded, because the but it just turns out that their wall is stopping the dumpster. So after that, um, spawn two cannon mans, one on each side. And by the way, I uh, forgot to show you, I don't know if I'll do it later in the video, I might, but um, delete the barrel after uh, you spawn the cannon. So, now take the man cannons on either side, I find it best to line up the energy with those two double, double bars right there, on both sides. So this will, this will give the right force on the dumpster. So, now that it's set up, I'll show you guys again how it works no barrel as you can see make sure you delete that just pick up the camo it's pushed out so second trap um, we at Cowboy Hat Clan um, call this the happy box and you will see why it's mainly a trap um, used to trick people um, it'll probably be, it'll, it will be this setup here will probably be featured on another one of our videos sometime in the future. Um, so there's two spawners here. You can pick one, both of them go in here. And as you can see, you're trapped. You can't get out and just use coils. Non-stop respawn. So let me show you how to do this. So obviously you're going to spawn a fence box. Um, again, foundry is best for the heavy box. You can also do it on um, standoff. Standoff works. Uh, sometimes, if you do it right, and so spawn it upside, you spawn it, and then turn it upside down so the top is facing upwards. And then you're, what you're need, going to need to do is spawn all of the fusion coils. Um, I, for some reason, I had a little bit of trouble finding that, um, and I forgot to um, do this at the beginning. But I'll do it after like the fourth fusion coil. Um, make sure you set all the respawn times to ten. That is the shortest you. That is the shortest you can put on for the respawn rate, and just make sure all of them say 10 for all the ones you put down. Um, I mean, as long as you have most of them, I'd say about 70 or 80 percent on the respawn rate is 10. It should work fine. I wouldn't. You could take the chance if you want, but if it's not, you then have to go through the whole pile or delete them all to fix it. So. Um, Right now, I'm just gonna show you. Right now I'm just gonna put in, put down a couple. I don't know how long, so I'll just explain. So, when you put all these down, make sure that you get all of them. Um, make sure you get all of the fusion coils relatively evenly distributed. Not don't have to be perfect. And you're going to need to leave one corner. I'm gonna leave the top left corner from the screen right now. Um, leave it blank because you're gonna not. You know what I mean. You're, you're gonna need it um, clear for the 
the spawn, the, um, the teleporter. Because if they're in the way, you won't teleport, and then your trap doesn't work. So, I don't know how long I'm gonna. It's almost done. About another eight seconds of me putting in a bunch of fusion coils, and then I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip to the next step. Okay, so I've skipped. All the fusion, co all 32 fusion coils are in the box. So now I'm gonna take the spawner, wheel in there. And she said, um, get it as far back as you can, and then just to be safe, move, um, move a couple. I was lucky there that they didn't start exploding. Okay, so now you can, now that's, that, that should be clear enough. Um, so the next thing to do, um, is go to the fusion coils on the thing. Hit X, not A, hit X, and you'll come to this page. You'll see the runtime minimum. Set that to 32, so both the minimum and the maximum should be 32. And this works with any in, with any item. If the minimum and maximum are the same, they will instantly respawn. So now, um, what you're going to need is you're going to need to cover it, and the best way to cover it, I think, is the bridge. Um, so put it long ways with it. You're going to need two. It should take up about half. Um, sometimes you have a little trouble, you know. So after you line it up, make sure there's no holes on the on the top because um, I've actually had the bridges fly off from the explosion. So and as you can and sometimes on bridges you can get those two like edges to inter inter interlock. So you don't doesn't matter whether you do that or not. So now go back to the uh, teleporter page and put down a sender node. You can put it anywhere on the map you want as long as the one inside and outside are the same channel. And then you go inside the teleporter, as you're about to see, explode. So, this is Sonunshine7, thank you for watching, and uh, so, so please subscribe. Um, I hope you like this. I will be putting up another how to, how to make some traps on Halo. Um, so, thank you.